This is Twit. I forgot, Leo. One thing I did notice on iOS uh, 8 Beta 2 is that the podcast app, at least in this beta, is default. It's no longer from the App Store, so that should benefit all of us. You don't have to download it. It's just yeah. on there. That's good. Yeah. That answers Chris Peachman's question. What's new in iOS Beta 2? It's so new that I don't think any... We First of all, some of us uh, don't know what it is because we're not signing NDAs. Other of mm -hmm. us signed NDAs and can't speak. Well, the NDA is different this year. Remember, you just can't do screenshots, yeah. videos, or reviews. Ah, but so you, can you can talk speak. About, okay, yeah. All yep. right. Yeah. Well, but and then the, finally, most of anybody who has it just got it. So. Yeah, and right now Twitter is flooded with people announcing new features that Apple announced, um, you know, two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> sort through that. First. Yeah. yeah. It's, so it's, it's too it's early. Fun, it's fun to watch. It's fun watch to watch everybody try to be the first to break a story. Jason Snell tweeted like, "Am I the first to say that the energy saver icon is now an LED bulb instead of a complex <laughs> pack fluorescent?" And well, finally, the... it's about time. Uh, here's you from. You see, that's that's a Tim Cook innovation. <laughs> yeah, according to the release notes, Safari will now black block ads from. Automatically redirecting to the app store without user interaction. Yes, that is true. Okay. Also, a if new people aren't pinched. familiar with that. Go ahead. So yeah, because this, this was horrible. They, there would be ads, and they would sneak into Google, which use, everyone uses, you know, across the internet. And you would go to a web page on a mobile browser, and it would immediately shoot you to the app store. Oh, that's not. Good. And as a publisher, we couldn't stop it either because we had no way of knowing which ads right. had it, and it was it was a huge pain. And I, I hope Google and Chrome, you know, do this immediately as well. That just fixes a bug. It sounds like. Well, it was, they were exploiting uh, the way URLs worked in the system. So to no like, URL it, should automatically launch ever. No. Ever. Yes. That's a hazard in, in many, many ways. In fact, I'm surprised that that... Uh, well, I mean, pop-up... Chrome, Chrome does that on, the, uh, on iOS? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I just I want this feature everywhere. No, um, I think I think that was a bug on Safari. I don't think it might have been, but also like there's a lot of you start, you start giving people the ability to launch pop-ups and they start embedding URLs in that. I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can game systems. Yeah. Um, App Store purchases apps in the App Store purchased tab. This is all from uh, by the way from uh, Mac Rumors. It's they're working as fast as they can. They probably have 15 <laughs> people going. Hey, hey, look! Apps in the App Store's purchase tab are once again sorted by purchase date. Yeah. Quick type keyboard now available on the iPad. Brightness, toggle, messages. All this is, you know, little. Doing. Is it more stable? That's the question. And I guess you really won't know that until you use yeah. it for a while. Was beta one kind of rocky? Stay away. Stay away. Well, iOS 7, as much as people complained, it was a, most of it was a paint job. It was a new design. Things worked very similarly. Now, with extensibility and with all the other features, the underlying stuff has changed a lot. And, you know, apps had very unpredictable behavior. A lot of your favorite apps might not have worked the way you wanted them to. And right. I don't ever think it's, you know, That's classy normal. to complain you know, no. about bugs for a beta. That's how it is. But when they say don't put beta software on your primary yeah. phone, they really do yeah. mean that this yeah. time. How about this one? That really one? is a question people are asking. How about this one? Um... This, I think, is interesting, but maybe you all have heard of this before. There is a new home data section within the privacy settings. Applications that have requested access to home data. Is that the home automation stuff? Yeah, home kit. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. So it sounds like, much like health kit, there'd be a repository of... And you can decide what you're what you're sharing yeah. data with. Well, this Hue this Hue app wants to turn my affect my Hue. Much lights. like you have, can they do that? Much like like do, do these have apps have access to your cellular or right. you know that type of thing? Good. Yeah. Your buzzsaw would like and to access I iPhone. Access to, let's not do that. <laughs> I have, by the way, and I didn't get around to doing it. I was supposed to do it for before you buy today. A robotic lawnmower sitting on my lawn right now. There's a whole lot of that. Seems dangerous. <laughs> That seems like a bad idea. You know, we used to when I was a, when I was a kid, they had a we had a, a field in the back that they would they would cut with the whirly, and the whirly is this big thing that you put in the yeah, back it's like of a tractor. Basically, a grain reaper. And we all had to go inside when the whirly was running because yeah. it would throw it would throw rocks a uh, good a solid two hundred meters. And if you go anywhere near the whirly, it'll cut off whatever body part is extended. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. You'd be yeah. amazed at what you could do with your brush. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> With what? <laughs> you go through brush. Through brush. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like hairbrush. Like, were you throwing objects at the world? No, 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 no. Oh. You'd be going through the road. You'd hit, you'd hit, you'd hit uh, brush and small animals, all kinds of other stuff. It would just, and that's it. That was it.